Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday trading session, the 11th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit uh, uh, Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the actual stats here, folks, for uh, Tuesday's trading session. Overnight Asian session, uh, Hang Seng down quite significantly, down 0.7%. The Nikkei down as well, 0.3%. Asian Dow, Shanghai only the bright spot there, 0.6%, certainly shaking off any potential concerns. The US markets overnight, we were negative at one point. We ended up finishing more or less flat stroke positive so again certainly something to uh, take on board in terms of european markets this morning we've certainly been waiting for the uk inflation data the inflation data con uh, continues to remain a higher uh, above that two percent target coming in at month on month cpi at 0.4 and year on year at 2.3 so with the target being two percent we're still above that and therefore the hawkish uh, bias remains on sterling and also on the uh, the actual uh, central bank's activity. So again, Mr. Carney has some explaining to do, especially going into uh, the uh, Brexit uncertainty. If you have inflation certainly creeping higher, it really is a taboo. Now, ZEW data for Germany certainly came in stronger. Current economic sentiment certainly came in stronger, although Eurozone industrial production certainly came in on the weaker side. Uh, Miss Yellen yesterday, same old rhetoric in terms of a hawkish stance against going forward. So bear that in mind. Also, Mr. Dudley did state that uh, tapering would not uh, deter the Fed from raising rates. So therefore, very hawkish and, and from my perspective, risk negative. Now, last night, we certainly sold off on the back of um, news with regards to uh, China and North Korea. Apparently, China amassing 150,000 troops on the border of North Korea. Also, with regards to North Korea, the rhetoric increased, saying that uh, it would go ahead and uh, certainly be, uh, uh, shall we say, um, Certainly justifying its nuclear option with um, the rhetoric from Mr. Trump. So again, Mr. Trump has become a, a national security risk. Uh, his attempt at sending the uh, the vessels or, sh or the ships out to the uh, the waters to neutralize and suppress Mr. Kim Jong certainly has backfired. So again, geopolitical concerns via Syria and North Korea remain forefront. Uh, and is risk negative okay and not only that you also have uh, the concerns uh, with regards to the fed as well arguing that uh, valuations certainly are, are overbought okay the metrics are overbought in almost every territory so again that certainly is a factor as well so bear that in mind now where do we stand technically speaking let's look at the actual german dax again i've, I've reiterated this on multiple occasions provided we remain below that weekly double top on the german dax is bias negative for the for global markets Daily chart, the German DAX really still in no man's land. 60 minute chart, still lower lows, uh, lower highs, no lower low as of yet. We are still holding this support level here, but bear in mind we are below that key diagonal trend line now. So for so just bear that in mind. That's crucial diagonal trend line that's certainly been uh, certainly held for quite some time. Uh, again, is now coming into play. So if we just take the pivot highs here, join them up. Okay, and we're looking at a lower high. So bias certainly remains negative for the German DAX, although it has thrust higher from that pivot support at 12,150. Bear that in mind. Whether we retest 12,150 or we go back down to 12,120, that's another story. Uh, that's another story altogether. Okay, but German DAX certainly under pressure to a large extent, given the fact that ECB certainly remains hawkish. Dollar really remains top heavy now. And if you see a move in the sterling, which sterling really is supported by stronger inflation, eurozone obviously, euro ECB uh, euro supported by hawkish rhetoric. So that should be interesting going forward. Now you do have the unfilled gap. I've been targeting that unfilled gap for some time now, twelve thousand. Uh, so again, watch out for that potential unfilled gap at twelve thousand on the on the German DAX. Now the reason why I'm negative on the German DAX is due to the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq has a H&S formation given geopolitical concerns with uh, Mr. Kim Jong-un's rhetoric as well on the increase. Watch out for that now. If you go to the 60 minute chart, you can clearly see the H&S formation looking for the right shoulder of the flush and obviously start to move lower. Okay, now in terms of the, uh, let's move on to the French CAC now. French CAC, another index that I'm looking at, uh, another index I'm expecting bearish price action. You have this rising contracting type wedge button, the daily chart remaining within that channel. 60 minute chart, you can see here we have lower lows and lower highs. Okay, from my understanding, double top certainly has gone in at 5130 and therefore looking for a move lower. 10 minute chart, I did have a HS formation at uh, target. 
We're certainly holding and um, on to gap fill resistance for now, so let's just observe and see how that market responds. Uh, again, with regards to political uncertainty in France, with Mr. Melencon now potentially gaining, and it's a four way race, and apparently now he's gaining ground, and uh, it may well be between him and uh, Miss Le Pen, so that certainly gets interesting. So the uncertainty certainly has increased. Uh, we are looking to potentially retest that 5080s support zone below. So let's watch out for 5080 and see how the market reacts in that region, okay? So certainly political uncertainty is certainly weighing on the, uh, the actual French CAC. FTSE 100 certainly has broken higher above that 7355 level, We've tested that uh, 7385, okay? If you break above there, you have 7400 as resistance next. Okay, so certainly looking for this top heavy or the markets to hold the upper bound, okay, on the uh, the actual FTSE 100. And bear in mind the daily chart, you are now into key resistance, so this level here, that 7380 zone and 7395, sorry, certainly is that FIB 75%, 61%, and therefore looking for weakness given the right shoulder. So bear in mind, you have the HNS formation. 10 minute chart at the moment, you have previous resistance equal support. So if you break through, you are looking at 7360 acting as support. You have double top for now at 7385. Let's see how the market reacts there. Certainly expecting 7360 and potentially lower on the FTSE 100, okay, going forward. Let's look at the Euro stocks now, last but not least, let's see exactly where that stands. Euro stocks daily at the moment, you have a bear flag formation still brewing. Uh, 60 minute chart, really you are looking top heavy as soon as we reach that 3500 level and certainly an argument for the Euro stocks to fall. 10 minute chart, really you have the HNS formation looking for it to break, okay. So far so good, so far we're below the actual neckline. We're consolidating below the neck nine. Unlike the French cap, we haven't closed the gap. So certainly more a more of a bearish argument here, folks. Okay. And you are looking at support being tested at 3440. So certainly looking for a flush on the European indices in the back of that hawkish rhetoric. And obviously political uncertainty in France and geopolitical concerns globally. So from my perspective, bias certainly remains firmly bearish at this juncture. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.